Music is so subjective. How did we pick our five worst albums of the year? What's up? I'm Mike Janella for 8012. Easy. We started at albumoftheyear.org, a music review aggregator, and found their 25 lowest rated albums of 2015. We eliminated anybody that had never gone platinum at least once before since high potential is what really makes a bad album terrible. Then analyzed how the album did on the Billboard 200 and how long it had been since the artist last had even a gold record for context. Got it? Let's press play. At number five, Nate Ruse learned it's hard going solo. He went platinum with fun just three years ago, but his grand romantic netted a rough 55 from critics. One upside, it did peak at number seven on the charts. The Meth Lab comes in at number four. Method Man's first album in nine years also scored a 55 with a peak of 57 on the Billboard 200. But it had been 11 years since his last gold record, so you couldn't expect much. Remember when it was cool to say cacao? It's Bad Vibrations at number three for Beach Boy legend Brian Wilson. His no peer pressure did peak at a respectable 28, but a brutal 51 review score must have Mike Love smiling somewhere. At number two, we hate doing this to Prince, but a 56 review and top spot of 70 on the charts for hit and run phase one is unacceptable for a guy who went gold as recently as 2009 and gave us Purple Rain. At number one, CeeLo Green had a smash radio edit hit in 2010 called Forget You. That's exactly what we did. Not only did his album Heart Blanche average reviews of 55, it didn't even chart. It's the Billboard 200 every new album charts. Just not this release, making it the worst album of 2015. Guess the curse of the voice extends way past home wrecking. Catch you next time on 8012. Thanks for watching 8012. Make sure to subscribe, like our videos, and leave a comment. A simple, you're the best, is good.